Bueno dia mi gente, good morning my people, and welcome back to the Toy Jeeps channel. Today I'm going to be removing my single den Pioneer radio, which is the one you see here. It's the Pioneer SPH 10BT. It's a great radio. Um, it connects with your phone. It's Bluetooth. If you take the face off, pull out this face plate here. Put your face plate back on. And this part here, all you do is push it up, and your phone is on there. You can rotate it however you want. When it's on, you use the GPS from here, Waze, Android Auto, Apple Play, whatever it is that you want. So you have a phone stand and you have the radio. I'm going to be taking this radio off and selling it because I want the double din. I, I'm going to show you right now which radio is the one that I purchased. If you look here, I got the Boss Audio System Elite. It's a Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Bluetooth. Um, the BE7ACP. MP3 compatible, stream, USB charging, backup camera. Yeah, folks, this comes with a backup camera. And I want to say I only paid like $220, 229 um, At the end of the video, I'll put the link below of where I purchased and how much it cost. Also, if you have a Jeep from 1997 to 2006, like I do, um, you can go ahead and order the actual faceplate for the Jeep so you don't have to go cutting your dash. So it comes with the faceplate, the radio, cables, everything else. Once this video is over, I'm going to be doing a video on installing the speakers. And then I have another video I'm going to do on the lights. So, stay tuned for the installation. For those of you that own a Jeep, you already know the routine. Try to go in here, pull this up. Be careful not to break the clips. But it does come out pretty easy. I just throw everything in the back seat. What you saw there was the uh, microphone for a Pioneer because it does have a uh, Bluetooth and you can use it as a with your phone. The next thing we need to do here is remove these two screws, which of course is only one, which I have to find another one to replace the one that I lost. And this right here is the bulletproof phone mount, which I love. I just got the bulletproof GoPro mount, which I'm going to install here, and I'll probably do that installation along with this video. Uh, just got to see if it's loose. Normally it is, but don't forget, take out your ashtray. There's also a screw down here. Turn the light, there we go. Take this one out, and I think with the new um, dash cover, there is no ashtray. It's either a little pocket or a flat piece. What I got to check to see is I bought a USB, so I can drill a hole, probably put it here, or I'm gonna have to remove my cigarette lighter, which I really don't use, and put it here. But as the video goes on, we'll see. Let's see. Now remove this. Uh, it just sucks trying to do it one handed. Let me get in here. There we go. Yep. 
piece always comes out. I'm not worried about that because I'm not going to need it anymore. All right, now you can see that we have the two bolts here we have to take off. Now remember, when you're going to install a double den, as you can see, this is small. We're going to have to cut in here, cut this piece out. Do not, I repeat, do not cut way out here. You need these uh, holes here so you can install the new radio. You're going to need a 3-8 socket to take these uh, two bolts out, which I already loosened them up. I'll put them down here all together. Once you take them out, just take the radio out. And uh, just start disconnecting the wires. Here's the antenna. This, uh, sorry about that, folks. The plug here. This is for the phone, the microphone, for the phone. This is for the amp because I do have an amp with a subwoofer. That's it, the radio's out. So now, what I have to do is I have to clean this up a little bit. This will be reusing the amp wires, the antenna. Now here's the tricky part I'm going to have to take all this stuff back out. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut along here just to make it easier. Put this back on the other Pioneer radio. Pull this microphone out. So I won't be using it because the new radio I'm installing has its own microphone. Here's a microphone here. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut these wires. And then we're going to have to cut this here. I'll show you how I'm going to go ahead and cut it. And right about here. And uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut. This is a negative wire here that you see. So just to make it easier, I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. And then I'm going to take out these plugs so I can take the harness and I can work on it on the floor or on the bench and then this is just the remote from the amp which I uh, pull out from here and that's it I have the harness with me and I can go ahead and install the new harness plug it in and see if it works before we start cutting everything all right, and the manual here kind of gives you a diagram of red and white, white, yellow, black, where it goes to. Uh, and this side here gives you the uh, speakers, where it goes to. On this page over here, it tells you the auto preamp and a camera USB if you're going to use a camera. I took the two plugs out of the Jeep, the power and speakers, and I have to come over here and connect it. All right, wish me luck. Okay, the wires were self-explanatory. Um, all you had to do is match the colors from the wiring harness that came with the radio and the wiring harness that came with the Jeep. Um, as you can see, I cut the blue one here. Our reason being is because I have an amp in the back. And the amp always has to be connected with the blue, blue on blue. But every other wire is already connected. Uh, two front speakers and a woofer in the back. As you can see... I don't know if you can hear, but the front speaker's on. And then when I connect the blue wire here for my amp. Alright folks, so this is the way I'm cutting 
the dash piece. I got to take this piece off right here. Got to be careful with the wires. You don't put the wires on the back or the bottom. I don't have anything. I was going to try Dremel, but I said, you know what? Let me try this first. I'm going to cut this here, and I'm going to go over here. And at first, I'm going to try cutting it right here because I don't want to cut the hole just in case I need it. But if I don't need it, then I'll just go ahead and back and cut up to back here. So first, I want to try this, and then we're going to try this other way. So give me one second, and let's see how far we can make this. All right, now let me tell you, as soon as I shut the camera off, it took me nothing but three seconds to cut this. Very, very simple. If you have a blade like I had, I mean, all you gotta do is put some pressure into it and it went like butter. Same thing here, you see how smooth it went through? I'm gonna try the radio now with the bracket. Supposedly it's supposed to screw here and here, but I'm gonna check it. If it doesn't fit, like I said, I'll just cut it right back here. I'm going to go ahead and put these uh, wires back so I can install the AC unit. Put it back in here. At least right here. And then I can see where the radio is going to fall in. Bam, right there. See? Okay, so I guess one of the, you're probably right. I'm probably gonna have to cut a little bit there. Can you see where it's at? It's not lining up, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, dash cover, put it on and just to make sure I don't wanna cut and then I didn't have to cut. I'll give me one second. Okay, right as I was gonna put in the uh, climate control I remembered that um, the kit comes with these two pieces here and from what I saw from other installers if you see it says left and right everything's labeled which is pretty cool this is gonna go behind here before you install it reason being is that uh, with the new dash cover this part is gonna be stuck in too far so you're gonna have to put this on here on both sides first. <sighs> Let me go ahead and do this. Like I said, can't do two things at once, so it's hard for me to record and install. Let me put this on, and then I will continue with the rest. All right, folks. I like to show everything. Um, a lot of people don't show when they make their videos. This top piece here doesn't come on. You have to put it on, which is not hard. You just gotta see little grooves right there, snap it in. But then I noticed um, it has like two little pieces here for screws, which I recommend you put the screws, find some small screws and put them in there. Cause you don't wanna be off-roading and this thing will snap off. And it'll be a little sturdier also on the dash. Your regular one does not come that way. Um, I'm gonna have to take out my uh, mount make the holes on here install it take off the uh, air vents snap them in here and then I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with this because it comes with two options the ashtray is no longer gonna be usable uh, but I don't use it anyway so but it's perfect color match actually looks nicer than the uh, old one and let me go ahead and try to knock this out okay now on the back side um, you notice the resemblance the, the old one has two clips here which the new one does not have anywhere to put clips but they do fit on the bottom and I'm gonna go ahead and take them out and put them down here reason being is that a lot of people are complaining that the bottom uh, wobbles and is not tight once it's on the dashboard so I'm figuring maybe it's because they're not taking these out and putting them here so I'm gonna go ahead and take them out and put them on there. I also want to let everybody know that it took me a while last night to fit everything in. Reason being is that um, I'm trying to get the USB port also installed 
I put my, as you can see, my GoPro mount and my uh, bulletproof phone mount on here. Um, I love it because the screws in from the bottom, so you know it's not going to go anywhere, as you can see. And I'll show you what it looks like towards the end. I highly recommend the bulletproof product. All right, let me give you an update of how's it going with the installation of the radio. Um, so you can see the brackets. I use the same hole here. There was, there's no space here to put any screw. Um, the brackets that come actually come out longer because the original one's here, which we had to cut half. Uh, I had to drill two holes here, find two screws to tap it in. It's dirty. It ain't going nowhere. On the air conditioning, uh, control here that those little black pieces I showed um, go right back here the reason is because it this has to come out some so it can be flush with the radio with the new cover that goes on here the ashtray is not gonna work um, those clips that I showed you will go stuck in here like the original one did hopefully it's gonna work fine because I've been hearing people complaining that the bottom is loose but I don't think that's gonna be the situation um, one other thing I want to say is when I turn the radio on and I connect my phone, it wouldn't let me connect it. Reason being that it said it had to be connected with the emergency brake. It's a safety feature that it comes with the radio. Um, after Googling and YouTubing, um, that's why we do these videos. The green wire that says brake emergency braking, what you do is you take that and you connect it to the ground wire that you already have connected from the radio. Just put all three wires together, wrap them up, tape them, and you're not gonna have any problem. Radio turns on fine, uh, everything works. I'm gonna show you that after the fact. Uh, there's two plugs in the back, two USBs, one's for charging, the other one's for Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. What I did was I purchased this plug here off um, Amazon, which comes with two plugs. They're already connected to the back of the radio. Uh, it's hanging here, but I'm picky. I don't like my Jeep looking like shit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the center console out. Because what I want to do is I'm going to drill a hole right here. And I'm going to stick that right here so I can have my two USBs right here. And I think it'll look pretty nice. There's going to be a plate here. One of the reasons why I won't put it on here is because it's kind of flimsy. And I'm afraid of pulling in and out all the time. That it's going to eventually pull the plate off and I don't want to break the little clips on it. So I just go ahead and make an adaption and do it right here. And uh, that way I can put this right there and I think it'll look much better. Uh, I think that's all I have for now on this. But let me go ahead and take this out. From my understanding, there's a, two screws on the sides, which they're missing on mine. And then there's one screw in here, which I have to take out. And supposedly it says that there's a screw right here which I have to remove also. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, um, pull this out, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do next. Okay, I took the console out. It wasn't hard. Like I said, there's one screw here. Just move over the uh, shifter piece here. One screw here. And then on the passenger side, there's two screws, and that's it. Lift up the uh, four wheel drive, the parking brake, pick it up from the back as high as you can get it and it comes right off now as you can see I have my 3013 degreaser products that I'm trying to sell and uh, if you want to get them just let me know as you can see this is 30 here and I'm very picky with my vehicle so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this whole thing up before I put it back in with my 3013 degreaser products that I sell so if you're interested uh, put in the comments and uh, I'll let you know about how much they cost and where I shipped to. Also, here's the cable that I showed you earlier. I took it out the back of the radio, so I had to disconnect the radio from the car already. Um, so I can drill the hole here, put it in, and it can look more professional. And you want to do this the hole with a one inch because that is the size of the piece here. That way, when it goes in, you can actually lock it in there and it won't move. Now the other thing I wanted to mention was I'm going to be giving away the radio just took off. If you saw the video from the beginning, you actually see what it looks like. You can go online 
and actually look at reviews. It comes with the uh, telephone microphone, has all the wiring harness in the back. So it's kind of going to be like a raffle. I really don't have a lot of subscribers. So if you leave me a comment, you subscribe, you're interested in the radio, you're probably the lucky winner and I will ship it to you. So hit me up and see if you want the radio or you win it. All right, folks, I cut the hole, the one inch hole, I put it right here. I put this cover on it because, you know, it's a Jeep and sometimes you're out there when it's raining and you don't want it to get wet. So, or get any dirt or dirt, dust in case you go mudding. But I got it there. Screw on the back side. I just got to tighten it up. Put it back in. Well, clean it up with my 3013. And put it back in. Okay, I want to show you once again. I uh, found another little problem that I've solved. And you can solve it without the headaches that I had to go through. That's why I make these videos. This is the old cover. The other one's already in the car. Um, I don't know if you remember I showed you that they had four little, uh, I don't know what you call them, little things sticking out. There was two here and two here on the new one. Um, then it had the clips on the bottom. And I said, you don't have to cut them off or you're going to have to cut them off. See, I did myself. Uh, it's pretty easy to take out and cut. The reason being is that when you go to try to push this in, into the dash with the clips it's not going to fit because the little bumps here are pushing it out so if you cut them off you'll be able to go in my other issue i had was the switch down here where the lights were um, it was hitting so i just took a little file started sanding it down uh, as far as i needed to it didn't leave any marks because i did it from inside out versus outside in and uh when i pushed it in the clips caught on so other people are saying, oh, we got to put screws in the bottom and all that. You don't have to do that. As long as you cut the four pieces out, put the clips on, make sure it fits down here, and push it right in. It'll snap in. Okay, I want to show you the finished product. As you can see, the Jeep is nice and clean with the 3013 um, cleaner. Look at that. Look at how that looks. I love those products. Okay. That's not why we're here. Anyway. Voila. You see there's my GoPro bulletproof mount, my phone mount. Um, these came snapped right in. One, two, three. This what you see right here is the microphone for the phone or for Google. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put it yet, so I just left it hanging here, ran it through. It's right there. See, everything looks nice and tight. Looks like it came from factory. Uh, no ashtray. I put the delete. And then here's the USB port that I did. They got the little cover. I said re reason being in case it rains. But look at it. Looks like it came from factory. Pull it up. Oh. And then I have Android Auto. And it's a charging. And this one's a charger one. Comes from the back of the radio. So I have two right now. Love it. Looks great. Um let me see if I can get it to turn on. I won't be able to show you the Android Auto. Reason is that I'm using the phone to do this recording. But turn it on. Sorry about the beat up. Well, it's audio system and light. I'll start with the glare. You can see right there. I agree. has Apple, Android, regular radio, hands-free, streaming, USB, SD, AV, settings, equalizer, and backup camera. I have the backup camera. Um, this just took a little bit too long. So I'm gonna wait for another day to install that. Um, I'll let you at least see the tuner. Uh, it'll set itself to whatever station you need. They also said that, um, you can change the background. I haven't messed with that stuff yet. I was just worried about installing the radio. See what I can get here. It's on AM, FM, stereo lock.
Let me check DX. Lock. I don't know what that little thing is. Settings. Yeah, region. Uh, let me try this one here. Could be that. Go back again. Radio. Nah, give me back. Give me back. That's the mute button. Now you got me in that one. Display screen radio. Oops, there we go. You know what? I don't think the antenna came out. Hope not. But I'm going to have to check it out. Alright folks, anyway, this is what it looks like, so far I'm loving it, I gotta do the reviews, I'm gonna put the lights underneath, so I can have some lights at night, and I'm also, I'm also gonna put the speaker bar up on top, I'll get that review done, next video, and also don't forget whoever's interested in the Pioneer radio that was installed here, the Bluetooth, is uh, gonna be giving it away, if you're interested, you leave me uh, in the comments, Subscribe, like, and share, and uh, stay tuned for the next video.